Sanan. I'm Aishwarya and in our class today as a part of our unit test league 2.0 we are going to be having the class 7 social sciences unit test for all my amazing students out there. So today we are going to be having a total of 15 questions where 5 are going to be from history, 5 are going to be from civics and 5 are going to be from geography and in civics it's going to be the first 3 chapters in history it's going to be till Mughal Empire because that's the chapter that I have covered so we're going to look at some questions before that and in geography it is going to be till water right so these are the chapters that are going to be covered in today's quiz so everybody please make sure that you go to www.menti.com and type in the code 69039476 right 69039476 very quickly everybody yes so I can see that a good number of you are here in the live class and very quickly please make sure that you do not forget to hit the like button for this video so in our class today we want to hit 100 likes no I know that you can do this 100 likes for this particular video so jaldi 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 go ahead share this video with your friends do not forget to hit that subscribe button right if you still have not subscribed to our channel then you know you are missing out on so many things right so in our channel we prepare you not just for your exams we help you in upskilling we do a lot of engaging sessions that you love doing so jaldi jaldi like the video now I can see that a lot of my regular students are here, a lot of new students are here. So welcome to everyone who is present here. Trust me, you are in for a lot of, I would say, learning and a lot of enjoyment as well. So Ranjit, can we have me to the side, please? I'm right in the center right now. So everybody, jaldi jaldi join. I can see that around 62 students are there in the live, but only 36 on Menti, right? Yes. Okay. Just give me a moment. Ranjit, can we have a blank screen, please? Can we just freeze the screen? One minute, something has happened to Menti, as you know. It says you have reached the end of the presentation. So just give me a moment. I am still here only. Am I there on screen? Okay, can we... Can you all see now? Are you all able to see? Yes? Are you all able to see the screens? Okay, is it visible to everybody here? Yes, can I do this Menti? You can try Raj, not a problem. Okay, thank you. Alright. No, no, it was... <laughs> no, no, we were just facing some technical issues. You know with Menti we keep struggling. So everybody, do not forget to like this video. Very, very important, right? Do not forget to like this video. Share this video with your friends. We want to hit 50,000 subscribers. We are really close by. So jaldi, jaldi hit that subscribe button. Now this particular sheet or this particular page is very important because as a part of unit test league we keep collecting your information right so we have it for all subjects across grades and we maintain a sheet where all your marks are there and towards the end what we do is we make a total of it and whoever scores the top three in each grade we will be giving you certificates right so everybody quickly please go ahead and make sure that you fill this form very important and once you have fill the form let me know in the comments below so that I can get started yes so give me a quick thumbs up hello Shiv welcome to the class welcome it's my it's your first time here so I hope that you do not forget to like this video so how many likes are we at Ranjit 71 we need 30 more likes and I know we can do it right so jaldi jaldi go ahead yes ma'am fill the form okay I can see Quickly, as long as you keep filling it. Alright, I'm just going to spend one or two more minutes here. Ma'am, keep target as 150. Chalo, he'll hit one. First you hit 100, then I'll keep 150. Okay. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, form mein grade ki jaga. Oh, yeah, I know. Some spelling mistake will be there. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Ma'am, do it fast. 
Yes, I will do. But I want you also to be part of UTL. No, so jaldi jaldi fill the form and let me know. Yes, Ashish, I remember you. Of course, I do. Hello, Diksha. Hello, Anjali. Hi, Lux. Hi, Dhanya. Yes, music. I will start fast, fast. Let me know if you fill the form, right? Okay. Hello, Gatek. Yes. Okay. Maisha there. Hello, Maisha. Ma'am, fill the... It's okay. It's fine. All right, everyone. All right. So shall we go ahead? Give me a quick thumbs up. Yes. Give me a quick thumbs up if we can get started. Give me a thumbs up and I'm going to get started. Very good that you have subscribed. Ma'am, sometimes menti. Ah, it's okay. We are all human. No, we, we all make mistakes. It's fine. When you make mistakes, what do I tell you? It's fine. Learn from it. So I tell my, maybe they made one or two mistakes. It's okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Well done. So we're going to get started, everybody. So we have a total of 15 questions. And like I told you, oh, we have only 14. Sorry. We have 14 questions. Leaderboard will come after every five, right? Now, for those of you for whom, as you know, right, if the screen is not clearly visible, increase your uh, quality of the video. So you can go to settings and then they will ask you what resolution advanced settings may you'll be able to increase it to maybe 720p. You will be able to do that. Yes? Ha, I know it's one question less. Only 14 questions are there. Everyone write your name now. Then you will tell ma'am you don't wait for me to write name. What is this? So that's why write your name and then I will go. Ma'am find rugby ball. Mm. Is rugby ball there? I'm not able to find it. Are I'm not able to find rugby ball. I'm able to find football. Rabbit. I'm able to see. I'm seeing goat. I'm seeing teddy bear, lot of goats and aliens. So many aliens. I can see many, many aliens on screen. Frog also, I'm not able to see. Okay, guys. 92 of you are here. Ma'am, strawberry. Ha, ha. I'll find all your avatars from the next question. Jaldi, jaldi. First question on your screens. Okay? Very good. First question. If Zat determined a Mansabdar's rank and salary, Savar indicates what? Right? Number of military folks he managed, number of horses, number of cavalrymen or number of army. Yes? Very quickly, what do you think the term Savar means? Right? This is very simple and easy. All right, everybody. Yes, very good, very good. See, now so many of you will tell me, ma'am, A should be the correct answer. No, because it's number of military he managed. But in your textbook, if you see, right, they have specified, they have told you that it is with reference to the cavalry men or people who fight on horses. Military or army could be a very broad group of, you know, uh, way of telling it. Military could also include your people who are fighting, you know, with swords or it could include the infantry, right? So it's very generic way of saying military or horses. But technically it's cavalry men, people who fight on horses, right? So correct answer here is option C. Now moving on to the next one, right? Next question number two. No problem if it is a if it's a misclick, no issues. Let's have a look everybody. Question number two on your screens. The revenue minister during Akbar's reign was Dash and he implemented the Dash system. Was it Jahangir and Zapt, Todarmal and Jagir, Todarmal and Mansab or Todarmal and Zapt? So easy, bachas. So easy. Code is 69039476. We will have it sent on the screens. Who was the revenue minister? Lot of misleading answers in the chat. I will tell you now only. Hmm. Jahangir was not Todarmal's revenue minister. Jahangir was his son, right? He was the next person who became the king after Akbar, right? Am I right or am I wrong? He was the one, no? Now, answer is Todarmal. Remember this, okay? Todarmal was the revenue minister and he was a very famous person, no? Now, at the same time, Todarmal is the answer. Now, the thing is, 
what is the system he implemented known as right it's called a zapt system yes that is why the system that he called was zapt not mansab because we know mansab jagir all this was with respect to the administration bit of it right so zapt is very very important okay remember this this they will ask you in your exam at zapt zamindari system they will ask you to elaborate on all of this in history you will get long answers i know nancy ma'am i don't like history but what to do we will get questions no so we need to find a way to write all right so are we clear with this my bachcha so those of you who got this wrong i hope you are all clear okay i know don't worry don't worry now moving on to the next one question number 3 yes very good very good now moving on to question number 3 yes between the 8th and the 14th centuries society became more differentiated and people were grouped into what were they grouped into jatis rajput kshatriyas or groups this is very simple ma'am please say hindi you all know right i keep telling you it's not like i don't want to teach you in hindi but i don't want to build an habit wherein you get comfortable with hindi because at the end of the day how will you write your answer in the paper you will write in english no slowly start getting more comfortable groups i know very good very good yes the correct answer is jatis right so we know that jati is nothing but castes and sub castes there was a caste kind of system that was getting implemented where the society was now getting differentiated into different castes earlier we had the rajputs the system coming in lot of soldiers going into the kshatriya system groups is a very generic way of saying it right but in history one is to not just say generic we have to be specific again like i told you be more specific with your answers which is why the correct answer is option a yes very good now moving on to question number 4 babita i will be fast but bachcha i also have to explain no so let's not rush the process okay yes okay are we ready everybody please write your names now please write your name i know <laughs> some options will be very funny like that i'll tell you this quiz is very simple okay but i'll tell you with social sciences mainly what happens is that all of you get very worried because of the syllabus how big it is that's why you get scared but other than that is very easy i'm telling you dash was considered to be the most powerful chola ruler of his time is it vijay vijayalaya raja raja 1 rajendra 1 or raja raja 2 this should be easy okay this is very simple and easy question yes i know you will get confused i am seeing confusion with two options that i know you all will get confused in but very proud of you guys are huh? very proud see you will get confused with raja raja 1 and rajendra 1 who is who is this rajendra uh, the first who is rajendra the first can you tell me who is rajendra the first you only tell me i know you know the answer to this yes don't say human and all <laughs> ha he was the son right he was the son of raja raja 1 the first raja raja the first right so the correct answer here is option b because he was the one who expanded the chola empire right very good yes very proud of all of you now moving on to question number 5 right yes very good some of you would have watched movie also i'm sure i know i saw someone said human i read that comment <laughs> Okay, question number five, everybody, quickly on your screens. Yes, let's have a look. During the reign of Khalji and Tughlaq, military commanders were made as governors of territories of various sizes. These land were called as dash, and the person who held this land was called as called as dash. What is the answer to this? What is the answer to this? This is a little tricky one. But very good, very good. Correct answer here is option A. 
the land right which was given to govern was called as ikta right and the person who held it was called as iktadar or mukti so here option d whoever marked mukti iktadar and mukti means the same okay muktis are the same right so the correct answer here is option a now are we clear with why the answer is option a are we all clear yes okay no problem no problem all right ma'am then why wrong because see as you know no mukti and iktadar mean the same that means that the person who holds the land can either be called as a mukti or an iktadar. But here they are asking lands were called as what? That is called as ikta. Okay. So now very quickly everybody let's have a quick look at the leaderboard. Okay. I can see a lot of interesting names on the leaderboard. I can see Anjali Yadav. Hi ma'am. On the first and she has the, she is the fastest also. I have Agash. I will top the leaderboard on second. Sharanya, Arunima, Amritanj, Shiv from Haryana, Nemo, Lakshi, Baiju's answer my comment. Okay, what is your comment? Then uh, Sharat Miga and Chaitanya. I can see a lot of you are on fifth, 236. Very good, 16th. Okay. Ma'am, how many are on Menti? 109 are on Menti. Okay, so well done everybody. Well done. 11th, 44. Amazing. Amazing. Yes, very good everybody. Very good. Okay. Alright. Okay, I can, can we just scroll up to one comment please? Could we please scroll up? Yes, could you pause there? Huh. Okay, hello Samaksha. Thank you for the very sweet comment that you had sent. So it was very heartwarming. Alright. Can we scroll down please Ranjit? Let's scroll down. Okay everybody. Yes, how many questions there are total of? 14 questions that are there. 5 more after which we will have next set of questions or geography questions. Okay. Alright everybody, before I go to the next set of questions. I can see 109 of you are on Menti. Have we hit 100 likes on our video? Ranjit, have we hit 100 likes? We have not hit 100 likes, no? 84, 84 likes. Very quickly. Anuj is like, ma'am, I will not like the video. Why, bacha? You can quickly like the video, no? Like the video, everybody, quickly. And then we are going to move on. So, jaldi, 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 make sure that you will like. Ha, see, Harsimran is like, jaldi karo, otherwise ma'am will be stuck here only. Ha, ah, see 94. Now quickly we can hit 100. No? Easy peasy we can hit 100. Yes. 100 likes done. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yes. All right. So everybody in the meanwhile as you like this video, here's a reminder for Baiju Spoken English classes. As you know, if you are someone who feels like you struggle with English because as you... To be honest, I also struggled with English when I was in school and I studied in ICAC school, right? And there are times when you don't feel very confident in telling that out loud that you struggle with English because most people around us are comfortable with English. Which is why we have this concept of two months spoken English confident speaking English program where it's a paid course. We are coming honest with you. It is paid and as you know, this is how much is there, right? That you'll have to pay, right? And here mainly what will happen is you will have Cambridge certified teachers who will be teaching you. And with the thing about spoken English classes is that at your own time and place, at your own comfort, you will be able to learn. You will not be learning wherein you will feel uncomfortable or outside your comfort zone. So you can take your time, you can be at your own space, but at the end of it, you will be able to learn, right? And trust me, there are a lot of students who have tried this out and they have told that they find it very helpful. So please make sure that if you still have not tried it out, you try it out, okay? I can see a lot of hearts coming in for me. I'm going to collect some of these hearts and keep it with me. Okay. Now moving on to the next set of questions, everybody. Okay? All right. Okay. Yes. Next set of questions, everyone, on your screens, right? Yes. So this is a match the following that is going to be there. All right. Now this match the following is a little incomplete. So let me tell you that this is incomplete. I will tell you. You will not be able to guess the answer to this because two options are missing in the mentee. In your, this one, trust me, I will give you marks for this. Okay. Two of it is not there. The question is wrong everyone. Let me be honest with you. So I will give you marks for whatever you are going to do. The question is wrong. I am telling you now only. Ma'am, this is geography, but in this two things are missing. 
Yes, there should be E and F. Two more options should be there. This is from your NCRT, right? And thousand points, ha? Huh? From my end, you will get thousand points. Question is only wrong. Okay. So in this case, most of you mark the correct answer, right? Because probably, yes, the question was wrong. I came up front with that. The question is wrong, right? But if in this case, if you think about it, most of you got the answer because I told you it's from NCRT. So we had hydrosphere, biosphere, we had... Um, we also had uh, environment and atmosphere. We know atmosphere is nothing but the blanket of air that surrounds the earth. We know hydrosphere is mainly the domain of water. The biosphere is a point where you have your land, water, air, all of them meeting which makes life possible. And of course the environment which mainly includes our surroundings, right? So everybody please make sure, those of you who got this, well done. But very sorry about the fact that the question was not very proper, so my bad, okay? Ma'am, now we can't come and lead about, I'm so sorry, Achas, question went wrong. No, this happens. Very sorry. Ma'am, points. Omer se aapko points milega. Chik hai. Moving on to the next one. Okay, very sorry. Now, let's not get aggressive about this. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Right? Question number seven, everyone, on your screens. The rock which is made up of molten magma is what? Igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic or mixed? Very simple and easy, right? It's also called as primary rock. I have leaked the answer. Some of you are asking me, ma'am, why is it called unit test leak? Because this is not something that will get over in one week. This will go on for two weeks where we will accumulate your, your ranks over the period of time, right? Very good, very good. It is called as igneous rocks, right? So the correct answer here is option B, I mean option A. Not sedimentary or metamorphic. So for those of you who are there, ma'am, ye question to galat nahi hai na. Nahi, nahi, only that one master following was wrong. Hey, why you are telling cheating and all? Guys, don't get so taken back with the fact that one question was wrong. Very sorry guys, but the rest of it is correct. And the next set of questions are going to be from geography. So don't get worked up, okay? Alright. Mere taraf se to aapko full marks hai us question ke liye. Thik hai? Yes. Chalo, next question. A dash is a vent in the earth's crust through which molten material will erupt suddenly. Earthquake, volcano, oxbow lake or glacier. This is very simple, but I know there is one option, pakka. Eruption, you will see, you will not think much. We are talking about molten material. What is molten? Please don't get confused now. I know. This is easy. Very good, everybody. Very good. Who marked earthquake? Some of you, I'm sure that all of you would be like, ma'am, I think uh, I marked earthquake because maybe misclick, right? Some of you would have had misclicks. So no problem. We know that a volcano is a small vent or a space through which you have molten material erupting, right? So now let's have a look at question number nine. Then we have question number 10 after which we will have the leaderboard, right? Thank you, Laksh. Thank you. Yes. Okay, this is for class 7, Pooja. This is not for any other class. Okay, the layer of atmosphere where meteorites get burnt up on entering this place is called what? So in the atmosphere, we know there are many layers, no? But where exactly will when the meteorite enters, it will burn up? Is it stratosphere, thermosphere, troposphere or mesosphere? Quickly, everybody. Very good, everybody. Very good. Yes, the correct answer here is option D, that is mesosphere, right? It is not thermosphere for those of you who got confused. Thermosphere, mainly it's a little above, I mean, in thermosphere, ionosphere, and all we know there is formation of those ions, right? So, correct answer is D. Very good. Anuj, I will try my best to see who's telling first in the chat, but chat post very fast for me. So sometimes even I might miss out on one or two here. So don't get, I mean, I hope it's okay. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन एवरी वन द प्रोसेस बाय विच वॉटर कंटिन्यूसली चेंज वेरी इजी चेंजेस एंड सर्क्यूलेट बिटवीन ओशन एटमोस्फियर एंड लैंड इज वॉट वॉटर साइकिल वॉटर टेबल टाइड और ओशन करेंट दिस इज सो इजी सेवेंथ ग्रेड जोग्राफी इज सो सो इजी very good very good yes the chat is moving so fast that if i want to pick who is told the correct answer also i i mean although i see that most of you have it with you yeah well done everybody well done and our chat rate is around how much 90 100 hundred chats per minute it's going 100 chats per minute okay that's how fast the chat is running in front of my eyes so it's super super fast right so yes this is something that is there which we already know about right so in this case if you see water cycle is a process by which water continuously changes its form circulates between ocean atmosphere and land yes all right so everybody with that enthusiasm let's have a look at the leader board right let's see what the leader board says So I can see Sharanya is on top right now with eight thousand six hundred and seventy-four points. Then I have Nemo, who is Nemo, right? Then I have Anjali Adav, Liesel, who is the fastest. Agash, I will be top in the leaderboard. Ananita, Anatomar, and then I have Sneha, Apsara, and Lakshi. Well done, everybody. Well done. Yes, very good. Ma'am, due to that bad question, I lost my marks. Are you no, but cha, it's okay. It happens. No, eighteenth place, eleventh place. Very good, ma'am. I'm oh, okay. You are in fourth place. All right. Okay. Yes, I remember all of you. All of you who ask me, ma'am, you remember me. You know me. I know all of you. Right. Very good. Very good. Now, if some of you have still not liked this video, now we have how many likes, Ranjit? Hundred and seventeen likes. Now let's take a Ghash's, uh, you know, suggestion and aim for one fifty likes on this video, right? Go for one fifty likes on this video, jaldi jaldi. Let's try to aim that. So if some of you have just joined the class and you've not liked the video, right? So well, very bad, huh? You didn't like the video, but like the video. Do not forget to subscribe, right? Hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to share it with your friends also. Ma'am, main to second pe hu. Oh, amazing. Yes. Ma'am, who is Ranjit? Ranjit sir is the one who sits in our class, right? So he is reading all your chats. He is giving me all the stats. Yes, ma'am, two hundred likes. Chalo, let's hit two hundred also. Okay. Yes, very good, very good. Are we ready for the last four questions, everyone? Last four questions. See, Har Simran is giving you warning. If you don't do fast, fast, she'll not start. She'll keep talking. <laughs> no, but I'll start soon. Very good, very good. Okay, so let's move on, everybody. And in the meanwhile, as you are liking this video and subscribing, right? Here's a quick reminder for everybody on set, execute, and achieve, which is going to be an amazing webinar taken by Chetna Ma'am. This is absolutely free. It's happening on 21st of December at 6 p.m. So please make sure that you all register for this. Ask your parents if they would be free to attend this webinar because, as you know, when we talk about goal setting. it's not at a personal level we make a goal and we set out to execute it it's a team effort right and if your parents are in it with you they are able to aid you and guide you into this this will definitely come it will be helpful right so everybody please make sure that why goal setting is important go ahead and definitely make sure that you are there मैम आप हिंदी में कुछ बताओगे मैं जरूर हिंदी में बताऊंगी पर मेरा हिंदी तो अभी अभी थोड़ा थोड़ा इंप्रूव हो रहा है राइट ओके Mom, I've liked this session from six IDs of mine. Amazing, right? Okay, all right. Yes, okay. Amazing, guys. So do not forget to register. Last four questions, ma'am. Is it free? Absolutely free. Webinar is free, free, free. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Say it. Bolti hai. Ha, ma'am. Hindi thoda baat manage karti hu, but my Hindi is not as fluent as maybe like how maybe Kriti ma'am, Kushbu ma'am, or Saurabh sir speak, right? And even when even Ankita ma'am's Hindi is pretty good, but mine is not as good as theirs. I'm still trying and learning, right? Okay, but what's my mother tongue? I speak a mixture of Tamil and Malayalam at home. Coming to the next set of questions. <laughs> According to Universal Adult Franchise, 
Every adult has how many votes? No vote, one vote, multiple votes, all of these. Yes. How many votes does an individual have? Easy. Yes. All easy questions only. You all get so scared of SST, you know? That's why we're wanting to bring down that fear of SST. We don't want you to be scared. We want you to be happy. Amazing. Very good. So as per Universal Adult Franchise, we know that every citizen has the right to vote and each citizen will be given one vote, right? So the correct answer here is option B. Yes. I am seeing your comments, Bacha. I am seeing Sheetal. We'll most likely be doing it this week. Otherwise, by next Monday, Pakka, that session will be covered. Okay? But before next Wednesday, before 21st, I will be covering reaching the age of adolescence. Alright? Okay. Now, moving on to question number 12. Alright? Question number 12. Yes. On your screens, everybody, question number 12. In India... It is a sit is a India is in a situation where private services and public services are decreasing, private services and public services are increasing, P public services are increasing, but private services are not, or are private services increasing, but public services are not. Yes. Okay, can we just scroll up a little, Ranjit? Okay, all right, Pooja. I have not uh, hit, right? I have not heard about it, but I'll definitely check it out. Cheetal, I've already answered your question. Right? Before 21st, I'll wind up that chapter. Okay? Yes. All right, everybody. All right. No problem. No problem. Yes. See, in our country, right? Mainly when you talk about it. So, in our country, if you see private services that are there, which include maybe a lot of private companies, a lot of, you know, people owning it. We know what private services mean, which is owned by a group of individuals. We see that these services that are there are going to be increased, right? These services are slowly increasing. But public services, that means the ones which are normally owned by government, we see that those services are over time decreasing, right? Because some of the government services are now being translated into private private right so this right here is important now moving on to question number 13 yes question number 13 everybody okay all right so now moving on to the next question number 13 i will read your comment in a bit harsimran in which year did uh, the kerala government make some major changes in the state 40 percent of the entire state budget was given to panchayat now when did they decide to make this change Ma'am, can you cover this chapter this week? I can cover it, but Bacha, I might have to do it at a 3 p.m. slot. Will you be able to, if will 3 p.m. be okay for all of you? 8th graders, 3 p.m. you will not even be back from school, no? All right, everybody. Very good. Most of you have marked the correct answer. The correct answer here is option D. I mean B. It happened in 1996, right? So the correct answer here is option B, okay? Now moving on to the last question for today, okay? Last question for today. Let's have a look, everybody, on your screens, okay? A political party whose MLAs have won more than half the number of the constituencies in a state is said to be in a what? A majority, a minority, an opposition or all of the above. Yes? Okay, everyone quickly. A political party wherein the ministers or the MLAs have won more than half the number. Okay. very simple and easy one okay yes the correct answer is option a that is majority right the correct answer here is option a that is a majority so with this we come to the end of today's menti quiz let's see what the leaderboard says well done 
done everybody well done i can see anjali yadav is at top and has won this particular uh, menti quiz with 11775 points i can see lizel agash nimo apsara ansha then i can see somebody's name whose name is gone there but shiv from haryana harsh and jashan who is the fastest well done everybody well done so very proud of all of you right Okay, so what we are going to do for all my eighth graders who are in my class right now, asking me for this particular chapter, what I'm going to do is I'll run a poll on the community and then we will go ahead with it. Okay, so everyone, in the meanwhile, I'll try my best. Right, I do understand that a lot of you have a lot of portions to cover and you have exams coming in, but don't worry. Okay, so don't worry. We will try our best to make sure that everything is accommodated for you. All right. Okay, everyone. So quickly. Yes, are we happy? Are we feeling good today after doing a quick revision of all your social science chapters? Are we feeling good? Yes. All right. Well done, everybody. Well done. Yes. So if you still have not liked this video, please make sure that you go ahead and like this video because you know Byju six to eight has always got you covered. And this is a reminder that you have to subscribe to our channel because we have unit test league happening. All right. And. You know that in Byju six to eight is where we take your academics very seriously, but we also take the fact that at times you need to have some enjoyment with learning, which is why we always plan important things. Ma'am, when will you put the poll? I will be putting the poll today only. I will be communicating this with the team, and the poll will come live on the community, so you can check it out. Right? Yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll do a majority. Don't worry. All of you are getting very worried about that chapter, but I will do it as soon as possible. Okay? All right. Yes. All right, everybody. Hello, amazing world of Palak. So, with this, of course, I hope you enjoyed this class. And if you enjoyed the class, do let me know in the comment section below because that's how our team gets motivated as well. And if you still have not liked this video, I know good number of your of you are here on the live, right? So, very quickly, everybody, make sure that you like this video and stay subscribed for more amazing, amazing classes from us. Hoping to see you all very soon again. Up until then, bye, everybody. Good night.